It's Saturday, September 29th here in New Jersey. This is our third Saturday of the year. So far, no luck. I'm in a, a new farm um, that I've only hunted. This is only my second time. Saw a lot of deer the first time, just didn't get any opportunities. I have three big white oaks 25 yards to my right. And uh, the acorns are falling, so I really hope we get a chance. Saw a lot of deer on their feet today on the way here. And it's, it's a little after four, um, about 68 degrees. And uh, it's a little cloudy right now, thank God, because uh, you know, it was a little warm, so he said deer up on their feet. Even this morning going out to hunt, we just saw a lot of deer all along the road just as we were getting here. So I just hope they're up and going and uh, we can get one close enough. Love to uh, love to break the ice here in 2018 uh, and uh, get something down. We're also uh, allowed to shoot a buck now. Um, the first two weeks you have to shoot a doe first. Obviously we haven't done that yet. So uh, now anything goes, but we're uh, we're here mostly looking for does or if a, a real bomber comes in We're gonna give him a jolt. So Let's see what happens That's just one of the difficulties of self-filming. You know, tried to get the camera on her, tried to get into position, and uh, not the shot I wanted to make. Uh, it was a little high, a little further back than I'd like, but I did see on a positive note, a big mule kick and a ton of blood as she uh, on the on the shot and as she was bounding away. So I saw her slowing about 75 yards away. So hopefully she's just going to go down right there. Um, I feel pretty good that we'll recover, um, just not the shot I was hoping for. I was looking for a perfect shot to start the season, but that doesn't always happen. Um, you all know, you you pull the bow back um, enough times, and uh, you're just not going to make every shot the way you want, the way you envision it. But uh, that's why we're going to do our due diligence, and uh, we're going to get after her, give her about a half hour, um, and uh, hopefully we find her. So. We'll follow along and see.
that's the one I was looking for. That was perfect. Big mature doe. Oh, 10 yards. Just put it right through the boiler room. That one felt good. Just sometimes, you know, your early season, you'll rush your shot, you didn't focus uh, that one. Truly focused down and uh, made a perfect shot. She took off and I heard her crash, so. Uh, great start to the year. Freezer's gonna be happy, so. Give him a little bit of time, get down and do the recovery. Ah, excellent. There's my first doe. Dude, she only went 80 yards. Uh, looks like I got a little angle forward. The beauty about um, hunting in New Jersey is uh, we have some pretty liberal, liberal bag limits, which allow us to call in right from the tree stand and report our harvest and keep hunting. It'll allow me to get the second doe. So uh, let's find her and um, get these things gutted out and cooled down and celebrate. Daily double is a beautiful thing. Well, we just made a, a really a great recovery on a very difficult blood trail. And the weird part was, it was the blood trail from the perfectly hit deer. Um, the one that I didn't hit very well went about 80 yards and uh, just piled right up. Um, you, you saw the, the video, you, she was stuck in the vines and just crashed right in, beautiful. The second one, we went back and, and reviewed the footage and what happened was I, I made a rookie mistake. I thought the shot was so perfect, I, I didn't pay attention. So uh, I just assumed the thing was just gonna run 75 yards and pile up. Well, it didn't. I uh, found some blood, went back and got some help, and um, was about to give it up for the night and come back and look in the morning. And uh, uh, Tim and Don picked up some some more blood, and um, we just kept following it, following it, and we, we found her stuffed in a briar patch, uh, and I was really happy to find her because I just knew the shot was good and I uh, would have been disappointed if we lost her to the coyotes. So, um, outstanding night, doubled up in uh, a, a twofer on, uh, in New Jersey, two great uh, mature does, and um, Don is an, another fellow hunting with us, and he killed another mature doe. So we went three for three today, three big mature mollies in the back of the truck, and uh, now we have more work to do. We've got to get them skin quartered and cooled down, but uh, glad we found them.